Have you ever wondered what it's like to live in a world where every minute is regulated, every action observed, and escape is a near impossibility? Picture a place where the walls don't just keep you in, they're designed to keep hope out. This isn't a dystopian novel setup, it's the chilling reality of Supermax Prison, specifically ADX Florence. Nestled in the heart of Colorado, it's the only Supermax prison in the United States. A veritable fortress of solitude, it houses the nation's most dangerous inmates, terrorists, escape artists, the worst of the worst. Its purpose isn't just to incarcerate, but to isolate, to minimize, to make an inmate's world no larger than a concrete cell. Welcome to the world of ADX Florence, a fortress designed to break spirits and keep the most dangerous of society away from freedom. Imagine living in a concrete cocoon devoid of any touch of nature or sight of the outside world. That's the stark reality for those dwelling in the heart of ADX Florence. These are not just cells, they are barely furnished concrete chambers, stripped of all but the most basic human needs. There are no windows to let in a sliver of sunlight, no view of the free world, just sterile, cold, gray walls that encase you 24 hours a day. The psychological toll this takes on the inmates is profound. Imagine being cut off from the world with nothing but your thoughts for company. It's like living inside your own mind with no escape from the echo chamber of your thoughts. This is a form of sensory deprivation that can warp your perception of reality, making minutes feel like hours, days like weeks. The world outside fades away into a distant memory, replaced by the relentless monotony of the concrete cocoon. In ADX Florence, the world is reduced to a concrete box, a reality that can break even the toughest minds. Security comes with a hefty price tag, and in ADX Florence, the cost is astronomical. This supermax prison is far from being a budget-friendly motel. Housing the most dangerous inmates in the United States, the annual cost per prisoner ranges from sixty dollars to $70,000. That's a lot of zeros, and it's a stark contrast when compared to your average state prison, where the cost per inmate is significantly lower. But why the high price tag, you ask? Well, the answer lies in the extreme measures taken to ensure security. The concrete cells, the dehumanizing isolation, the intricate surveillance, all these factors contribute to the soaring costs. And let's not even start on Guantanamo Bay, where the annual cost per prisoner is a whopping $900,000. It's almost as if they're staying at a luxury resort, except there's no room service, no ocean view, and certainly no freedom. With every tax dollar spent, the walls of ADX Florence grow taller and the chains grow stronger. Exercise is a luxury in ADX Florence, a fleeting chance to stretch your legs and feel the wind on your skin. But here, the term exercise is a bit of a misnomer. Picture this. You're confined to a concrete cell with nothing more than bare necessities. Now imagine being allowed only a few hours per week to stretch your limbs in a space scarcely larger than your cell with no view of the sky or the outside world. It's like trading one concrete box for another, slightly larger one. The irony is palpable, isn't it? Exercise, a fundamental human right, is rationed and restricted. It's no longer a means of maintaining health or stimulating the mind, but a precious commodity, a rare break from the monotony and isolation. It's a cruel twist of fate that, in a place where time is abundant, the opportunity to use it productively is severely limited. In ADX Florence, the freedom to move is just another privilege to be taken away. In ADX Florence, even food can be a form of punishment. Picture this, a loaf, not of warm, inviting bread, but a concoction so unappetizing it's used as a disciplinary tool. This, my friends, is neutral loaf, a mishmash of various food items. It's a culinary nightmare that's devoid of any gastronomic pleasure. Imagine a blend of ground meat, vegetables, fruit, and bread, all compacted into a dense, flavorless brick. It's nutritionally complete, but utterly joyless. Served three times a day, it's a stark reminder of the inmate's circumstances, but why use food as a form of punishment? It's simple, really. By stripping away the pleasure and variety that comes with eating, the prison authorities further isolate the inmates. It's a psychological tactic, reinforcing the boundaries of their confinement, Inmates can be subjected to the Nutriloaf diet for a variety of transgressions, from violent behavior to refusing to return a meal tray. It's a harsh yet effective method of maintaining order within the prison walls. In the world of ADX Florence, even the most basic human necessity can be turned into a tool of control. Solitude can be a refuge, a sanctuary, but in ADX Florence, it's a sentence. 
Imagine a life stripped down to its bare essentials where your only companions are the stark walls of a concrete cell. This is the reality of extended solitary confinement, a practice that has become synonymous with ADX Florence. Here, the human touch, the warmth of conversation, the simple pleasure of a shared joke are luxuries that are beyond reach. Inmates experience a level of isolation that most of us cannot even fathom. Their world shrinks to the confines of their cell, their daily routine, their thoughts. Communication with the outside world is a rare privilege, rationed out in precious minutes. A few minutes each month to hear a familiar voice, to share news, to maintain a fragile connection to a world that feels increasingly distant. This is not the solitude of a peaceful retreat, a break from the hustle and bustle of life. This is a solitude that is imposed, unyielding and relentless. It is a solitude that gnaws at the edges of the human spirit, testing the limits of endurance. In ADX Florence, solitude is not a choice, it's a way of life. Behind the high walls and the iron bars, there lies a reality unseen and unheard. ADX Florence, America's only supermax prison, is a world shrouded in mystery and controversy. The living conditions here have been widely criticized as inhumane. The inmates, considered the country's most dangerous, find themselves confined to concrete cells, devoid of a view of the outside world. The stark reality of their existence is as cold and hard as the concrete that surrounds them. This isolation takes a toll on the mental health of the inmates. The harsh environment, coupled with limited human contact, often leads to a deep sense of despair and a loss of connection with reality. These conditions have raised questions about the psychological impact of supermax confinement. Is this punishment fitting or does it cross the line into cruel and unusual punishment? The unseen reality of ADX Florence is a chilling reminder of the length society will go to contain those deemed too dangerous. ADX Florence, a fortress of solitude and despair, remains a controversial symbol of the American justice system. In the heart of ADX Florence, escape is not just difficult, it's nearly impossible. Now, you might wonder why. What makes this fortress of solitude impenetrable? Well, let's dive into the chilling details. Imagine being surrounded by a fortress of reinforced concrete, a labyrinth designed to disorient and discourage. That's ADX Florence for you. Every cell is a concrete cocoon tailored to keep the world's most dangerous minds contained. You're not just facing walls, but a relentless, unyielding barrier that refuses to give in. The prison is not just a concrete jungle, it's a technological marvel. Advanced surveillance systems monitor every nook and cranny every second of the day. A network of cameras and motion detectors ensures that every movement is tracked, every whisper heard. The eyes of ADX Florence never sleep, making unseen movements a fantasy. Now let's talk about the guards. Trained to handle the worst, they are the human shields of ADX Florence. Their vigilance is the final nail in the coffin of escape plans. They are the sentinels, the watchers, the gatekeepers. Their eyes and ears are everywhere, their presence a constant reminder of the prison's imposing authority. And then there's the location. Nestled in the Colorado mountains, ADX Florence is isolated from the outside world. Even if one miraculously breaches the prison's defenses, the harsh wilderness awaits. The unforgiving terrain and harsh weather make the prospect of escape a grim, daunting challenge. So what does history tell us? Since its inception, not a single soul has managed to escape ADX Florence. Each attempt has been quashed, every plan foiled. The prison's reputation as an escape-proof fortress remains unchallenged, its record spotless. In ADX Florence, freedom remains a distant dream, a challenge that no one has yet conquered. This is the ultimate test, a challenge that has left the world's most notorious escape artists at a loss. The proverbial mountain that no one has managed to climb. This is ADX Florence, the ultimate challenge. In the grim world of ADX Florence, there is one surprising fact that stands out. Amid the concrete walls and enforced solitude, an unexpected twist emerges. This fortress of isolation, home to some of the most dangerous individuals, has never seen a successful escape. That's right, not a single one. Despite housing a host of escape artists and brilliant minds turned criminal, ADX Florence remains impenetrable. It's a testament to the prison's design and execution, a chilling reminder of its purpose. Even the infamous El Chapo, known for his daring and intricate prison escapes, has found no way out of this high-security labyrinth. It's an unsettling irony. The most dangerous inmates in the world, 
Those who have slipped through the cracks of other maximum security prisons find themselves caught in the unyielding grasp of ADX Florence. In the world of ADX Florence, surprises are few and far between, but when they come, they leave a lasting impact. As we delve into the grim realities of ADX Florence, we are left with a chilling picture of life behind the highest walls. We've journeyed through a labyrinth of concrete where the inmates are cocooned in isolation, cut off from the world. A world where the cost of security is astronomical, reaching up to $70,000 per inmate annually. We've discovered the irony of exercise limited to a few hours per week, often under a skyless ceiling. We've tasted the punishment of food, the infamous neutral loaf, a culinary abomination served as retribution. We've felt the crushing weight of solitude where human contact is as rare as a blue moon and communication is restricted to a mere few minutes of phone calls each month. We've looked into the unseen reality of living in a world within a world where the ultimate challenge is not just surviving, but maintaining one's sanity. And finally, the shocking surprise, even in the harshest corners of our society, hope and resilience can still flicker. ADX Florence, a world within a world, a testament to the length society will go to keep its most dangerous individuals at bay.